pony voice crack. Wow. <laughs> Way to start off. <laughs> We're gonna call this pony talk on helium now. Uh, so hello everybody. Welcome to the Pony Talk podcast once again for a brand new episode review. Um, we are brought here with the inconspicuous Brony guys. So say hello. You know, it'd be uh, it'd be really nice if I could still make my voice go that high pitch. Oh God, I hate it. It it annoys like, the it's amazing. Yeah. Do like a near perfect imitation of. Wow! All the main six, and now I can't do any of them. I just realized, wow. First time in the podcast I do not wear a hat. Let's fix that. Oh, no. <laughs> you get a hat on now. Yeah. Don't show that on camera. The kids must not know. <laughs> Alright. Um, that's better. My, actually, yeah, my other one was sitting over there. That's why that happened. Uh, yeah. So, episode... Five of season eight, and this is the overall episode 174. Wow, almost to 200 episodes. We're getting there. We are getting there. Imagine episode 200 is just gonna be, we're just gonna title it Slice of Life 2.0. Yeah, that's you know, that was a good episode though, so I'm not complaining. If they do release another Slice of Life, then yeah, but you know, uh, so. Let's get in the episode topic, shall we, guys? Um, well, title of the episode, Granny's Gone Wild. Uh, first, uh, opinions about this episode. First of all, Rainbow Dash comes in this episode, which... Yeah, who would have thought? Yeah, like, who would have thought? I don't like the mad. Yeah, Granny's Gone Wild, you know? heck has bro um so inconspicuous is this going to be our third time that we're gonna predict uh, another episode i don't know steal my thunder i said that before the recording yeah i know that's right i'm gonna expose you that's my joke <laughs> yeah there we go um well oh never mind uh so episode begins at the wonderbolts academy where there are mares, and not the academy, the, uh, it's not the academy. Yeah, wonderful. Headquarters. Oh well, the headquarters, but it's still it's still on one Wonderbolt's campus. Let's just say, uh, but we have Fleetfoot, Misty Fly, and uh, Soren, of course. Um, no guys, I know exactly what you're thinking, no shipping here with Dash and Soren. Oh god. Uh... Dash shipping. Yeah, well... It's only, the only ships that are allowed are... Flutter Dash? Ships. Flutter... Oh, I, I was just gonna say, uh... Oh. Ships. Oh, okay. Well, that works too. Um, but... Oh my gosh, we're not. <laughs> we're just gonna talk, be talking about shipping in this episode. We're gonna talk about anything, really. Yeah. Ship, ship, shippity, ship, Everyone ship. Everyone knows at this point. Whenever mm. I'm in the recording, it gets zeroed a lot faster than normal. Oh yeah. And really inconspicuous as well, guys. Alright. Um. Well, it doesn't advance for all the clicking and cluttering of my keyboard you're gonna be hearing. We have a little bit of AMSR in this video, guys, so it's all good. So if you hear a couple of... Or AMSR. AMSR, yeah. No, it's A... Oh, wait. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why I'm thinking. Uh, but yeah, you hear some random clicks, just inconspicuous being inconspicuous. And, uh, let's get back to the episode, why don't we? Um, but while these bears are talking, and soaring is also... Uh, Rainbow Dash is kind of intrigued by what they're saying. Like, you guys are talking about a roller coaster? What? And they explain that this is the. What is it called? The wi Wild Blue Yonder, it's called. Uh, and this was. This is a roller coaster, supposedly, is going to be closing um, by what is informed to Dash. 
and she kind of acts like, oh, I've been on that ride before. And then... Huh? Like, nah, I've never been on this ride. What is it? Yeah. The, the, uh, blue, the wild blue yonder. Yeah. That's a, that's an interesting name, but, you know, it's kind of spot on because, you know, most roller coaster names these days, uh, <laughs> I mean, we have one that is going up at Cedar Point called, that's replacing the Mean Streak, uh, ooh, oh, Steel Vengeance, it's called, so. I've only been to Cedar Point once in my life. Uh, it's that was really little. I I got my uh, words to say about Cedar Point, but I'm gonna hold them back for uh, when we do another Cedar Point video. Uh, <laughs> but while this is going on, uh, Rainbow Dash is kind of like, eh, yeah, okay, you got me. I don't know anything about this ride. Tell me about it. So you're, you, and then they're like, well, you, technically, you can't call yourself Wonderbolt if you haven't been on the uh, Wild Blue Yonder. And, uh, Dash is now like, oh my god, I gotta go on this ride. Yeah. And now, this is where intro scene, and then we go where Applejack and Rainbow Dash are talking, and she's... Have, uh, first she goes around telling literally every pony about yeah. the roller coaster, and then we go to the intro scene. Oh, yeah. Have I you ever been on this ride? <laughs> yeah, have you ever been on this ride? Remember, inconspicuous. We we're only doing bits and portions. We're not gonna talk about the whole entire thing. We're trying to summarize it up as best as we can, so we don't make this an hour podcast or anything. Because you guys already know what happens. Um, <laughs> most of you, at least. I hope. Um, believe me. I rather you guys, if you are watching the podcast before the actual um, episode. I mean, it's fine. But I highly suggest that. A lot that, of spoilers. Yeah, a lot of spoilers. I don't know why you would, really? A lot of spoilers, and plus, sauce. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> there, it just will be kind of rambled, dambled, and all that. So, you, go watch the episode, guys, first before you watch the podcast. Um, but most of you do watch the podcast once again um, after the episode. So. Yay, that's the way to do it. Um, but yeah, intro, and then we cut to Applejack and Rainbow Dash, and Rainbow Dash is explaining to Applejack, oh, I need to go on the Wild Blue Yonder, it's going to close in a day, and it's in Lost Pegasus, that's the thing that sucks, and yeah, and then she explains, oh, but I have to work at Twilight's Dumb School, because I'm a teacher now, just like all of us, and this is where Applejack's like, well, you know, the grannies are headed up there uh, for their, um, they are the Golden Horseshoe Gals, that's what they're called. Um, they're little, yeah, the, the Golden Horseshoe Gals, that's what they're called. Um, interesting name, that kind of sounds like a little bit of like a golf kind of, uh, little yeah. like golfing because yeah. even their hats even their hats I mean r yeah. reminded me of like golfing hats or something like that but you no know, they're just hats <laughs> oh my gosh that was you weird hats, wouldn't you? yeah we got the cat in the hat we got the pony in the hat you know oh my god we are making this uh, I could already see the comment saying, wow, you guys. <laughs> Alright, so let's make this more exciting, shall we? <clears throat> the Golden Horseshoe Gals. Uh, Applejack explains, you know, the grannies, they're going to Lost Pegasus. They want to have some fun over there. But, you know, if you do take care of the grannies and go over there, then maybe we could settle a little bit of a deal. And Rainbow Dash kind of is like, uh, you mean, can you please help fill out my position at the school? And Applejack takes it immediately and says, yes, but you gotta take care of the grannies. Uh, Big Mac would have done it, but, you know, he's kind of... Because plot convenience. Yeah, you know, 
even though they stack all the suitcases on Big Mac, uh, kind of a rarity reference there, you know, how many times does... I guess that's supposed to be a plot inconvenience, wouldn't it? Why? <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> yes. oh. it's like, um, horrible jokes. Yeah. And this is why we lose uh, people watching the podcast. <laughs> the audience opinion just dropped to ten percent. My favorite. Yeah. All right. So back to explaining. Uh, yes. So Raymond Ash is like, uh, I'm not want to go with a group of elderly ponies who walk slow, talk slow, and all do all this slow stuff. It's not me. I'm Rainbow Dash. I go fast. And Applejack's like, well, I guess you really don't want to ride that roller coaster. And she's like, oh, fine, what the heck. And then we see them walk on to the hot air balloon, which takes them forever to walk onto that thing. Um, and then Rainbow Dash kind of speeds it up, like, all right, go, go, go. Throws the kittens in there and all that. That was pretty funny. Um, yeah, why did they have to take the kittens? Are they uh, because because it, 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 they needed to? I don't know. It's it's needed. Trust me. I guess. Um. Yeah. So while they're going up, up in the air, and the air balloon, of course, is slow too. You know, they they just have to make it as dramatic. Dramatic is the big thing, people, ladies and gentlemen. Every single movie, TV show, everything has to have a dramatic scene or else it is not interesting. So, yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna address the elephant in the room even though we haven't gotten there yet. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Rick from Rick and Morty. <laughs> yes, yes we do. Uh, yeah. That's the thing now. Morty, where's my Szechuan sauce? You know? Morty, I'm Morty, I need my Szechuan sauce, Morty. Ah. Uh. Morty! Yes, Rick! I need my Szechuan sauce! My the Szechuan sauce! Morty, it's amazing! Okay. What are we doing? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Guys, I apologize in advance. We're, we're making Morty this podcast, too. actually. Yeah. You know, Rick and Morty talk. So, yeah. Hashtag Rick and Morty talk. Uh, so back to the episode, please inconspicuous. <laughs> uh, yes, in the hot air balloon, that's going slow. Eventually, they get there, uh, and they go look around, and they're kind of like, ooh, yay, uh, this seems fun, I'm really excited. And one thing we forgot to uh, mention, Applejack listed a lot of ridiculous things, which, you know, I feel like Applejack was kind of making Rainbow Dash feel like, make, kind of making Rainbow Dash tricking her into all these things because, you know, I I don't know. I just have that. That's not how I thought about it. What I, what I figured was, uh, I got like flashbacks to where, when she didn't trust Apple Bloom alone and she's being overprotective. Yeah, well, I I don't know. I feel like Applejack kind of set her up just a little bit because, you know... Probably a little bit, but yeah. Because, you know, even at the end scene, uh, they were fine. They, they still seem normal. Applejack sounded like that they... If you... If the grannies get excited or any pony gets excited, the world will end. It... No, no exceptions, guys. It will end. If the grannies get excited, they do anything, they chew hard food, it doesn't matter. It will be bad news oh. for everyone. So, yes. Hide your wife, hide your kids, etc, etc. Hide your wife. Yes. Oh, that's a dead meme, but yes. Yes. Uh-huh. It, it's not dead if you use it in a good, in a good, uh, never mind. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm too, I'm too tired for this. Uh, so. Not even that late this time. It is 921, what are you talking about? <laughs> you record these at 1030. Yeah, well, that depends, it depends. Um, <laughs> yeah, even though this podcast is a little bit late, but we already been down that road, so, uh, yes. But, yeah, so, 
first, I think the grannies want to uh, go like to the buffet or something like that, and then Rainbow Dash kind of directs them, hey, let's go to the hotel. Does that sound like a good idea? Okay, let's go. And, of course, they are like, eh, I don't feel tired, though. And um, then they start playing a little game with Rainbow Dash, this tired game, like, oh, yeah, I'm tired. And then, of course, there has to be that odd one out that says, oh, I'm not tired, though. Nudge. Oh, ugh, yeah. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired, too. Um, and so Rainbow Dash is like, really? Okay, well, sleep tight. And yeah. Fight and then they're gonna sneak out. Yep. And Rainbow Dash then goes heads to um, that roller coaster ride. And this is yeah. And this is where um, of course there has to be a stop right here too. Um, gets her ticket and the line is super huge. Yay! Comparable to an amusement ride park. What the heck am I saying? Yeah, it's comparable to an actual road co an actual coaster, right? Park, yeah. Yes. So, um, yeah, again with Cedar Point. Oh, Cedar Point. Um, so, yes, Rainbow Dash says, oh, God, I'm not going to have any time. By the time, this is going to last all day. And then put ponies in back of her, like, yeah. So this is, like, the only thing. It's, it's worth it because it's going to be the last day that it's open. So... Yeah, and Rainbow Dash is like, oh, forget it. And then she heads back to the hotel uh, to check on the grannies, and of course, they're gone. She checks all the beds. I wonder who, I wonder who saw that one coming. Yeah, hmm. So, um, yeah, and then we get a cutscene of commercials and all that after that. And then we return with uh, the grannies at that one game with the horseshoes. And I forget, it wasn't Granny Smith, it was, uh, it was another one. I don't know, it was one of the grannies. And, uh, has really good, uh, horseshoe skills. And they're over here, become popular, everyone's around them, or every pony's around them. And Rainbow Dash is like, huh? Wow. And then she's like, alright, yeah, go grannies, woo! Um, <laughs> the whole ten yards. Wait. Yeah. And then. Wait, they're, uh, they're not supposed to be doing this according to AJ. Yeah. We Applejack and her weird, um, flashback things. Ooh, do not let the grannies get excited. Ooh. Yeah. Go. Yep. So that happens. Rainbow Dash ruins the fun and basically destroys the whole game, everyone leaves in disappointment, and the grannies are also disappointed. and Rainbow Dash is like, uh, okay, so now what? Okay, let's go to the buffet. Alright, yeah. So, they go to the buffet, and, uh, we have, uh, I think Granny Smith getting nachos, yeah, it was nachos, and, uh, Applejack with her weird foot thing again. Ooh, they can't eat hard soft things. Food. They have to eat soft foods. And, yep, so, Raymond Dash has to swipe right in and give them soup. And that's where the soup meme comes in. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, they're not happy about that, and then I think, don't they get don't they uh, will go to um, the dance club or something like that? Yeah, they do. Um, DJ Pwn 3's dance club is what they have specifically on here. Um, so they're the Golden Horseshoe Gals, or the Horseshoe Gals. Uh, any, any dance club is going to be vinyl, no matter what. Yeah, vinyl, it's everywhere. Just like Pinkie Pie. So, yeah. But, um... Plot twist, Vinyl's the fifth pie sister. Mm-hmm, yeah. And I, hey, that could be the next, um, episode of, uh, of the, that will be the next, uh, episode 200 of whatever that 
one was called. I can't think. <clears throat> but, yep. So, they're over here shaking their moves, and Rainbow Dash is like, ugh. Uh, dancing, uh, I just don't. And then I think we get a flashback of Applejack once again. Yeah. And then, all right, that, I think that's enough dancing for a night. And y'all know it wouldn't be an LP if we didn't go through every single possible flashback. Yep. And then we get these other Colts, um, Big Bucks and Jackpot. Casino names. Thanks, Hasbro. Uh, and they invite these gals to go to the magic show. Um, the opponent's Fantas- Fanquai Theater? What? Okay. And they give them VIP yeah, tickets. Yeah, that's- They- uh, I don't know. They ten give- 10 out of 10, Hasbro. Yeah, so- <laughs> We need to make, uh, everything- wrong with the Pony Talk podcast. One, uh, accusing... One, it's derailed too easily. Yeah. Two, Hasbro's demand. Three. <laughs> derailed too easily. Yeah, I could already see Little Shy making a video out of this. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. But yes, they, uh, these gals get invited to go to a magic show, and of course they're a pop pumped up about this, except Rainbow Dash, she's like, oh, magic show, bleh. And, of course, she gets roped oh, into it anyway. I it's gonna be Trixie. Oh, but it's not. So, they're at the magic show, and they are going to do their one talent, which is a Escape, the giant aquarium tank-looking thing, and they say, we have the ponies to do it, too, and, of course, they go off into the tank, and they get, they're all dressed up and all that, and uh, they hoist the ginormous tank, fill it with water, and then Rainbow Dash is alerted by Applejack saying, ah, oh, do I even really need to say anything? And it's like, no, just just go, Applejack, just go. And just go away. Just, this isn't your episode. This isn't your episode. This it is. I mean, it, it's from, best, from best background pony. Yeah, uh, I know. See, this is this is the set of Generation Five. Why people want to make Applejack a background pony, even though they still call her a background pony. Um, Generation Five. I want to keep me for all the way. <laughs> yeah. Um. But uh, Rainbow Dash then kind of ruins that trick. Spills all the water out from the aquarium. And uh, now the folks are confused. Point, yeah, honest. yeah. Um, and Granny Smith then makes the comments of, like, just, ah, oh, Rainbow Dash, we thought you're better than this. How dare you? And then she explains what was on her mind, explains the whole story, and then they're what? like, seriously. You could have told us this before, and everything would be. You seriously want to go on that ride? That, that's definitely sounds like a good idea. And I think they mentioned something like, "Oh, we've been on that ride before," and if you haven't, well, then get ready. So, um, Granny Smith, Apple Rose, Auntie Applesauce, and Golden Delicious uh, go on the ride uh, with Rainbow Dash. Uh, the what is it called? Wild Blue Yonder. And yeah, it's great. They are probably the last ones ever to go on that ride before it closes. And then, uh, yep, they go in the balloon, fly off, and then we get another glimpse of Applejack in the air laughing and stuff. And then that's where I thought, oh, Applejack, I think you planned this all. So Rainbow Dash could just be just a you troll. You troll. They should have just put a troll face. They, yeah. So that's an episode for uh, that episode. Granny's gone wild. <laughs> um, my mind's gone wild after this episode. Let me tell you. Um, I gotta say, it was all right. 
it was good. Not the best Rainbow Dash episode, I do have to say. Um, but yeah, we we seen it, uh, roller coasters in an episode, so yay. Yeah, roller coasters for once. Yep. So yeah, and the, probably the only roller coaster in Equestria. <laughs> no, I'm joking. They'll they'll make another episode about another roller coaster, probably called I don't know, um, the Wild Pony or something. I don't know. Um, Hurricane Hub. That will be the next one. So, uh, yeah, but guys, uh, I want to hear your thoughts. I personally thought that this was an okay episode, wasn't the best. Uh, the so, uh, it will, I, I, it's an alright episode. Uh huh. I'm disappointed though, still, because it was a dash episode, and I really wanted a really good, a really good dash episode. Mm. Best pony. Oh, don't worry. Uh, I've seen the list of upcoming episodes, so we're we're going to hopefully. I think this was just a filler, to be quite honest with you guys. Probably was. So yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, personal thoughts. We want to hear them from you guys. Always helps us to hear what you guys have to think, and uh, yeah, stick with it. And if you guys want to join the Pony Talk podcast, just leave a comment down below saying that you want to join and I will get you hooked up and all that. So, yes, we will join for next week's episode, episode 5. We have Surf and or Turf. So, prediction, main sex going on a beach or something? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Who knows? Uh, but, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Inconspicuous, for joining us for this podcast. Um, it's always, always a pleasure. Yeah, it's always a pleasure having you on, man. And, uh, yes. So, with that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, share, favorite, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. Helps me out a lot. Helps, you know, you guys with, I don't know. Whatever you guys like to see on the channel, I want to make that a reality to you. So, and we will see you in the Pony Talk Podcast next week's episode, guys. Peace out. Bye, everybody.